It's 312 acres and six miles of trails, offering a bird's eye view of nature, along with an ever-present reminder that visitors don't have to go far beyond the big airport to relax. A lot of times they'll say, we never knew this was here. Jesse Jones Park and Nature Center opened to the public in 1982. They can come in and see our live exhibits of snakes and uh, turtles and fish and then touch and feel table. He's so soft, uh, but I wouldn't want to see one. No, you wouldn't want to touch no. this in person. <laughs> the park offers guided canoe and pontoon boat trips down Spring Creek, where chance sightings of wildlife happen daily. Oh my goodness. She just wants to say hi. Hi. Yeah, I see her. I see her. What you shouldn't find in the wild is a Burmese python. Um, but she was found in the wild. Yes, yeah, she was about uh, 14 or 15 years ago. Her throat had been slit. Good Samaritans nursed her back to health. Lucky is now the Nature Center's ambassador. Yeah, when they're born, they're only about 15 to 18 inches long, and people think they make great pets, but Lucky right now is about 11 feet long mm -hmm. and probably weighs 75 to 85 pounds. The turtle pond is more for me. Uh, this is probably my favorite spot in the park because it makes you feel like you're surrounded on all sides by, uh, by trees and wildlife, so it's a very serene area. Visitors are welcome to hang out on the brand new dock and feed the hundreds of turtles that live in the pond. The new aquatics lab offers free nature programs for all ages. Whether it's juvenile fish. There's equipment for kids to collect and test water samples. We really would hope that they would get a, a better sense of the outdoors and what goes on outside as well as learning about Texas history and tying in history with nature. The Redbud Hill Homestead at the park does just that. It's an 1830s replica homestead. Everything is built by hand. Volunteers with 1830s skills are always needed to help in the cabins and the blacksmith shop. We get to portray history. We get to talk about, you know, Texas history, and that's, that's a real great reward. The best part is all the programs and events at the park are free and open almost every day of the year, 8 a.m. until dusk. In Humble, I'm Sally McDonald, Fox 26 News.